Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about the concept of business process re-engineering in the subject of management sciences. So in this video, we will be learning what is business process re-engineering and how the process goes on and what are the advantages and disadvantages of this process. Okay, so to understand this concept clearly, make sure that you watch the video till the end. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever I post a new video. And also, if you're still having any doubts, just let me know that in the comment section. I'll definitely try to clear all your doubts. So first, uh, business process re-engineering. This process is in short, it is also called as BPR, okay? And this BPR was invented, was formed in 1990 okay in the year 1990 it was formed it was formulated we can say okay so here what you can do with business process re-engineering is the business strategy can be changed at any point of time okay you should remember this any point of time that means you've started a business and after starting your business after a few days you want to change the strategy they already the old strategy whichever you're using is not giving you profits and you want to change the strategy in that case you can use this business process re-engineering concept if you want to change the strategy in middle of the business. For example, you have started the business and the strategy which you are following in the business is like you have first decided a strategy, uh, you and your shareholders, your investors, your all have discussed board of directors have discussed a strategy and you started doing business with that strategy and after a few days what happened that strategy did not work for the product you are manufacturing and you really want to change the strategy because that's not giving you profits then in that case this process of business process re-engineering will help you to change the strategy in the middle of the business also even after starting the business in the middle of the business also you can change your strategy with the help of this business process re-engineering okay done so in this we have four steps and i will explain you what those four steps are and with a uh, detailed explanation of each and every step okay so first the first step is identify the process review update analysis designed to be test and implement to be and it follows a cycle okay so now let's see what this identify first step is identifying the process right so what this identify process will do is it will identify the old process okay the old process is identified and also what are the disadvantages of that old product we will be uh, analyzing we will be identifying the old product old process and what are the disadvantages which are in the old process we will be identifying them and we will be making a list okay so in the second step what we will be doing we will be doing small changes to the old process so minor changes will be done not very big changes so minor changes will be done and to the old process and then we will be analyzing again uh, so after doing changes is there any improvement like that we will be analyzing it again so after doing changes also if there is no improvement again bringing some more change some other change like that we will be doing okay and if there are any improvements we will be checking if there are any improvements then in that case whatever the change we have done that will be designed here okay so this is uh, so and so change previously it used to be like this now we have changed it to become like this so we will be designing that in a on a paper or on a you know we will be creating a design so that it can it can be understood on seeing that okay so that is about the design to be when you will be designing if the changes which you are doing here are giving you improvements then in that case you will be going to this design step and here you will be designing the change that you have made to the old process okay done so after you design what you will be doing the next step is test and implement to be so in this test and implement to be what we will be doing is so whatever design we have created here whatever the design we have designed here that will be tested right and if it is giving good results then you can implement that into your organization and after testing if the results are not good it will again go to this uh, step so again the cycle will continue okay if the results are good then it will be implemented if the results are not good of the test after you perform the test if the results are not good then it will again move to the first step and it will be continuing from the first step okay so this is what happens in business process re-engineering first you will be identifying the what are the disadvantages that are present in the old process you will be identifying that first then you will be 
making small changes and you will be checking if there are any improvements you have observed then you will be designing that improvement in order to understand clearly then that design will be tested with um, the conditions in the organization and if the test results are good then in that case you can implement it if the test results are not good again you have to follow the cycle in order to get the best method okay so this is about the process of business process reengineering here we have a total of four steps and that four steps will be in a cyclic manner okay done so now as we are done with the definition of the word business process reengineering the process how it goes on and now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of this process okay so now moving over to the advantages and disadvantages of business process reengineering the advantage first one is increased revenue okay next is imp improved customer service so the customer service also will be improved and reduced cost higher employee retention and faster processing time so these are the advantages i need not explain about each of them uh, detail because all of them are very simple to understand for you right now coming over to the disadvantages practically it is hard to implement so while reading or while trying to understand about bpr it may sound easy for us like it is really easy right first we will be identifying then we will be reviewing then we will be designing then testing so for understanding or to read out it is easy but practically while coming to implementation it is a bit complicated okay and benefitable to large organization that means benefitable to large organization why i have written it in disadvantages it is only benefitable to large organization whereas in case of small and medium size organization it will not give a lot of benefits okay and the third is does not provide immediate results yeah you have to wait for so many days in order to get your results so once you uh, implement as soon as you implement you will not be getting the results so you need to wait for few days in order to get the results okay done so you should be patient enough right so that's all for this video in this video we have discussed about what business process reengineering is and what are the steps involved in it and what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages right so in the next coming video we will be discussing about the statistical quality control and uh, till then stay tuned to my channel if you are having any doubts let's let me know that in the comment section and if you think the video was useful for you just hit the like button and also share it with your friends so let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic